Hello you guys, you are watching Fortune Beaker Chess. Today I brought you a game that made the magician of Riga Mikhail Tal the 8th world champion. So regarding a game, it is a match number 19, a world championship match between Mikhail Tal and Mikhail Botwinik. Let's just straightly dive into the game. Here Mikhail Tal has the white pieces and Mikhail Botwinik has the black pieces. Mikhail Tal opens the game with c4, the English opening. Now against English opening you can do many things. You can play knight to f6 which helps you to transpose into any default lines. You can play e6 which is quite a flexible one which I like the most. And you can play c5 which is a symmetrical structure. Let's see how the game goes. Here Mikhail Botmunik plays an unorthodox opening f5. And f5 is called an Anglo Dutch defense. Now there is nothing wrong with f5 but black doesn't have a good results with f5 and as Mikhail Botunik was trailing the tournament he has to take risks. So let's see how the game goes. We have knight to f3, we have knight to f6. I know you want to see a 5 works from the move 2 as it is Mikhail Tal but things has to go a bit, little bit solid from here. We have g3, we have g6, and then we have bishop to g2, we have bishop to g7, we have d4, we have d6, and then we have knight to c3 and e6. Now we have castles and castles. Now if we just look at the black structure, it is more or like a king's indian with a hyper f5 and a pawn a little bit forward. Now we have queen to c2 with a clear intention of going d4 in near future. Let's see how the game goes. We have knight to c6 with attacking a d4 pawn. If the black knight moves anywhere it will be falling and potential knight b4 square. Then we have rook to d1 and then we have queen to e7 potentially going away from a rook file and then we have rook to b1 just see rook f to d1 and rook to b1 nice then we have a5 let's say if the black plays some much slow move like a6 you can just play b4 that will be a bad for black so a5 and then we have a3 stopping knight to b4 and then we have knight back to d8 so the thing was after a3 the knight has no scopes only square he can go is either a7 or b8 but both of the squares were not great enough so knight back to d8. So from d8 it can go to either f7 to g5 to anywhere maybe h6. So we have e4 finally. So we have e takes e4, we have knight takes e4, we have knight takes e4, we have queen takes e4. Then we have knight to f7. Now here is a bit tricky position. If you just play let's say naturally like bishop to d2, now we have d5. Why? Can I just take the pawn? Yes, if you take the pawn then a skewer. You're just losing an exchange. Yes, you can grab a pawn, but why are you even going in a position like this? So Mikhail Tal spotted it and play a brilliant bishop to h3 so now if, if you play e5 you can just directly capture the bishop so let's see how the game goes we have queen to f6 if black ever want to execute d5 so let's say if, let's say if black plays any move and now black play d5 so it takes if the queen was there you can you are not able to take the pawn so so queen to f6 just you can just play bishop to g5 because just knight takes so not so bad move now we have bishop to d2 finally because that thread is not gone now we have uh, d5 and then we have queen to e2 because let's say if you just uh, grab the pawn like this you're completely losing after pawn takes now you have to defend the knight or the bishop let's say if you play queen to h4 and simply bishop takes if you take it just using the knight so you are pieced down in this variation that's why queen to e2 was played here so then we have 
pawn takes c4 and then we have bishop to f4 attacking c7 and then we have knight to d6 not allowing to take the pawn then we have knight to g5 just aligning everything to e6 pawn then we have rook to e8 defending the pawn now the work of this bishop is now over and he shifted to g2 now let's save the bishop move this is hanging if you just play b5 the rook is hanging so for seeing this Mikhail Botnik plays rook to a6 then we have knight to e4 somehow hoping for the trade trade and if he doesn't do anything like this just grab the pawn with the bishop then we have knight takes then we have bishop takes and then we have b5 now you can just directly grab the pawn but Mikhail Tal plays a very good move b3 because if you just take the pawn let's say you just take the pawn you are b5 pawn is just falling this is exactly what happened in the game we have c takes b3 and then, then we have queen takes b3 so this rook is now hanging you have to defend it we have rook to f8 then we have queen takes on b3 now we have rook to b6 and then we have queen to e3 then we have rook takes b1 and then we have bishop takes e1 then we have bishop to b7 and let's see how the game scrolls from here here Mikhail Tal plays bishop to a2 so this pawn is now hanging and this pawn is now hanging let's see which one Mikhail Botnik tries to defend so we have bishop to d5 the best move by an engine so we have bishop takes pawn takes and pawn takes and now we have a4 keeping one of the pawns alive then we have rook to d3 then we have queen to f5 if let's say anytime the queen moves anywhere from him this will be hanging then we have bishop to e5 then we have bishop to h6 then we have queen to e2 trying to defend the rook then we have rook to c8 and then we have rook to f3 then we have queen to h3 now this is actually a critical position of the game and only one move grants you win and all of the rest of the moves either draws or loses the game on the spot so if you are trying to find the move i will give you a few seconds so let's see what is the move and what Mikhail Tal played. The only move that just saved the game and that Mikhail Tal plays is bishop to c7. Why can I just grab, the, grab it? Yes, if you just grab it, you're just getting checkmated after check. And if you go there, this is the checkmate. And if you block with the bishop, it has also checkmate. Okay, so bishop is not is untouchable after bishop to c7 we have bishop back to f8 so if you just grab that grab it now you don't have a check and you're saving the game right no bishop to b5 now if you just grab it then let's say you just grab it then queen takes check and the king let's say go anywhere let's say it goes to g7 then queen to e5 check and then queen king goes back and then we have takes and you are exchanged up in extremely dominating position so after queen to b5 we have queen to e6 and then we have bishop to e5 and then we have queen to c6 trying to exchange the queens then we have queen to a5 and then we have rook to a8 then we have queen to d2 and then we have rook to c8 then we have king to g2 and then we have queen to d7 and now we have h4 and then we have king queen to g4 and believe it or not after playing queen to g4 Mikhail Botvinnik resigned because the black, white position is so dominating that black is unable to find a good move because after queen to g4 black just can play white can just play queen to a5 and take one of the pawns 
So this was a brilliant game of Mikhail Tal and after winning this game, the rest of the two games were drawn and Mikhail Tal become the 8th world chess champion. So if you liked the video, do like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon all.